So, with all the talk about the Apple Vision Pro, the biggest issue with the Vision Pro has nothing to do with hardware or software. So, where does that leave the Apple Vision Pro version 2? Stay tuned to the video. What's up, people? This your boy, Viper, the man about tech. Back again for the video. And yes, we got news today that the Apple Vision Pro 2 have been delayed. Now, as I alluded to in my introduction, I have the original Apple Vision Pro, the one that's currently out, the one that came out four months ago. And the biggest issue with the Apple Vision Pro has nothing to do with hardware or software. It is the actual price of the Vision Pro. For those of y'all who are in the know, you know that the Apple Vision Pro starts at $3,499. Yes, over three grand, which means only a select handful of people can actually even afford to go out and buy themselves an Apple Vision Pro. So, with news today that the Vision Pro 2 has been delayed in its development, it's been delayed because reportedly Apple is working on the biggest problem with the Vision Pro as it stands today. The price. Yeah. Apple is working on a less expensive Vision Pro, which is reportedly going to be released in 2025. So not that far away, just next year. Now, what will a Vision Pro Lite or a Vision Pro Air, if you will, consist of? Well, we know that the original Vision Pro is made with metal and glass. So maybe Apple can shave some of that off and maybe you plastic in place where they have the metal and the glass. Or another subtraction that they can make from the OG Vision Pro is eyesight. Eyesight is kind of much to do about nothing in my opinion. I don't really believe that Apple needs eyesight on Vision Pro at all. It doesn't really do anything for the wear of the headset. It supposedly does things for people that are near you, but the Vision Pro is not exactly a device that you want to use when people are around you. It's more of a device to be used in isolation when you're alone, when you don't have people around you. Because if you're the only person wearing the Apple Vision Pro and you're around a group of people, it's a weird dynamic. It's kind of hard to communicate with people when you have a Vision Pro and they don't. They can't experience things that you can experience in the Vision Pro. It's just weird. Why are we doing that? So get rid of eyesight. Get rid of a lot of the metal and glass on the OG Vision Pro. Maybe... Another subtraction that Apple can make is using lenses in there that aren't as high of resolution as the Vision Pro is. Right now, you have lenses in there that are both 4K in each eye. Well, maybe you go with 1440p in each eye or 1080p in each eye. I don't know. I'm just trying to, to brainstorm ways that Apple can lower the cost with the Vision Pro. And there's a lot of ways, some of which I just highlighted, of how Apple can lower the cost with the Apple Vision Pro. What are some things that you feel like Apple could do to lower the cost with the Apple Vision Pro Air or whatever they call it? And how much would you pay to buy an Apple Vision Pro? Because that's probably the most important question, right? How much are consumers willing to pay for an Apple Vision Pro-like device? Drop a comment, let me know what you think. And if you wanna know more about Vision OS 2, which just came out recently, check out that video right there.